day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. All right. Hey, for the people who is listening live, I, I do know that there's some people that do. Uh, and I know God will draw those who need to listen uh, to, to these types of uh, sessions. Uh, and, and, and just the answer is Christ. The, the, the kingdom of God's way. And most people sit there and try to say, well, what is the kingdom of God's way? What he's saying is we need to operate bearing the fruits of the Spirit. We need to operate more importantly than anything else is love. See, love will, 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 will keep somebody from being attacked by either the police or by individuals. Love will cause people to not push drugs on a community and make them worse than what they already going through. Love is to be able to help those in need that that they lost their jobs or can't feed their families at the time. In other words, people are looking for us as the church to start taking care and supporting one another and this, our society. This the whole world is looking. We tried it, we tried with the governments. We tried it with, with laws. And the problem is that we laws don't work without Christ. The laws are good. It's us. It's the heart of man himself. Man. All of us. Outside of Christ, we're desperately wicked. There's no need to sit there and try to change things so that you can be just as corrupt as somebody else. We need to have a society where we can love one another, respect one another, be able to give to one another. Be to share with one another. It's not. It's not. It's not good to decry and cover a corrupt system when we sit there and, and and slap somebody on the refrigerator. It's not good to sit there and try to cause people to be able to to uh, abuse somebody, to get over on somebody. It's not good to sit there and, and where we got a society where we got people to try to do a, a, a identity theft and, and and take people's property. It's not even good that you don't even want to wear a mask because you're trying to make a political statement. And the point is you understand that the mass is not for you, it's for somebody else. It's protecting somebody, that's love. Love is sitting there saying, I'm gonna put this mask on because I'm trying to protect you. That's love. That's what Christ is trying to say, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. It's for us to bear the fruits of the Spirit. It's time for us, the church, to rise and shine and sit there and stop trying to be like the world because it ain't about the world. It's about Jesus. It's about love. It's about joy. It's about peace. It's about the internal changes that we have to make to one another. Your eternal changes, my eternal changes, the changes that we, we need to be able to reflect back into society love see even our my, my fellow brothers of the police force i know it's easier to operate like the criminals i know it's easier to sit there and, and be just as aggressive and try to look at everybody as the enemy or look at everybody as a threat but god has said i want you to love them you're called to do that but you know what you can't do it without christ you can't do it without Christ. And yes, you make mistakes, and therefore you need grace. But guess what? Our society needs grace too. You need to be able to give grace to somebody as well as you give it to one another. Not everybody's trying to sit there and be uh, uh, like, like, like what, in Vietnam, and we're trying to sit there and, 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 and cause pain and suffering. Not everybody. It is definitely not based on the color of skin. You know, it's not, our, our actions are not based on the color of skin. Our action is based on our internal heart. Our heart has a problem. And if you have, you sit there and don't have a heart either, then you become part of the problem. The solution is Jesus Christ. And I hope everybody had an opportunity to listen to this video. 
recognize the answer is Christ Jesus, not anything else. It'll never be anything else. What does it say? You tried, to, you tried everything else, now come try the best. And the best is the answer of love one another. Have joy. That's why the fruits of the Spirit, and I like the fact of the fruits of the Spirit, because the fact is that it, it, it first starts off with the fact of love. Because if we can learn to love one another, and look, if you can learn, I'm gonna tell you, so let me get something even better. If you can learn to love yourself, that's the beginning of wisdom. You are precious. God, the Bible said that God said you are the apple of his eye. Learn to love yourself. Don't let the world define who you are. Don't let people sit there and say that you're worthless. Don't let somebody say that you don't, you're don't. you short on this or short on that. Don't let somebody sit there and say what color of your skin, you're this or that. Don't let somebody let you do anything. Somebody say, look, I love you because God loves you. The Bible said that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm sitting to say the same thing to you. Love one another. Love yourself. If you can love to love yourself, you can love others. Don't base your opinion of yourself based on what somebody else said or what somebody else do. Don't, don't let your life be defined by your past. Let your life be defined by going forward and doing the things that are right in the eyes of God. Yes, you make mistakes. God bless you. We all make mistakes. The Bible said, concluded all of sin that comes short of the glory of God. So don't think you put yourself in a special category. None of us have done it right. But he has. And he said, come to me as you are. Love him, love yourself. Don't worry about the rules that people try to put on. Love one another. So I just want to add that to you for those who listen live. And, and, and I just want you to say, God loves you. And, I, and, and I'm going to tell you something, I love myself. And I want you to love yourself. Because I guess if you don't know how to love yourself, then you don't know how to love others. How can you? So love yourself. Because God loved you first, even when you was a sinner. So I'm gonna conclude this for the live stream. I may do. I'm gonna do another uh, video commentary for the sessions we had. But I do want to just leave this with you, and I hope you listen. I hope God. God, I know God put somebody there that's supposed to listen. And that person, God is talking to you. And God is telling you He loves you. Amen. And I'm glad that you love me. And if you don't know how to love yourself, you don't know how to love me. But I tell you what, I love me so I can love you. And I understand that love through Jesus Christ. So I hope you have a blessed week. Stay safe. Put on your mask so you don't cause somebody else to get sick. And pray for healing of this nation. Amen? All right. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. And Chris, that's what I'm trying to say is it's more than just, it's, we're just a convenience. The same thing with the Indians. Same thing with uh, different countries. The same thing in the military. That's why the reason we fight wars and, 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 and we do at least we made it a science is I'll put a uniform on you that dresses this particular country. And then you put another uniform on and dress, be in another uh, military, now we can have a good fight, right? Because I can identify who you are and you can identify who I am. But we're going to forget about the fact that while we're fighting, all we need to know is, can I fight this war and I have an opposition that I'm going against? Same thing in sports. I got I got to have, diff gotta have different uniforms so I can know who the opposition is. Go ahead. Okay, but see, here's Here's what I, I, I want to say, and, and I'm going to try to put it the right way. Right. Everybody knows, and I say through internet and all that, and you're getting the proof, the system is corrupt. 
Yes. This system is broken. It's man that's system. It, 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 that's what I'm saying. This system. It does not work for us. Everybody, like you said, we can go all the way back. We can go through it. It was 400 years of this, you know, is that. We went through the civil rights era, you know, we, we did all that. The young folks tired of that. They, don't, they do not want to hear that right now. Right. So like you said, don't pacify me this time. That is what these kids are saying. They 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 tired of waiting. And right. like you said, they 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 want they pound the flesh now. Yeah, they, they, they want they pound. They yeah. actually yearn for the truth. And the truth is the gospel. It is. There, there is no perfect system aside from the kingdom of God. And the reason it's perfect is because we got God living inside of us, empowering us unto perfection. The law was a great law. I mean, the law itself was moral. And even the laws of the United States of America on paper are moral. Yeah. It's an unfortunate fact that men corrupted at their hearts are immoral. Right. And will not follow moral laws. Right. And, we're not, and I don't think we're going to fix it through man. It won't happen. It won't happen. Mr. Valley, what you're saying is the question yeah. is how? That's what we're going to talk and about. See, that's that's I, what I'm getting to because my, my what I, I, I'll say this way. No matter what you say, look at that Constitution, it's beautiful. Yeah. But do you know what all five of us right here are? We are an amendment. <laughs> that is what we are on that Constitution. We are an amendment. In the sight, we, we, in the sight we of know man. This. In the sight of man, we are an amendment. But yes. in the sight of God, we were an opportunity. We are an opportunity. I, okay. Um, I, I would hand. say that it's even more different than that. Yeah. Um, Let's just be real about this. Um, if the church was in its rightful place, that's what we're talking about. Seriously. These people, uh, despite color, yes. would come flocking in. That's the whole point. Um, because that's once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, yes, you become part of a new kingdom, Fire. a new race, a new government the new right yeah uh, uh, a new uh existence that has nothing to do with race right color right it has nothing to do with that it is it's, it's the the spirit yes and the soul that defines the person right in in the body so once you join this family you become the big eye. Yeah. You become you. You're automatically transformed to be kings right. and priests. Yeah. So you're above yeah. the law. Right. You're outside of the law. And if you live this Christian life, yes. the the society has no authority over you lest you be put into that position but with every trial and temptation god makes a way for you to come out on top so no different than these people who are the one percenters who have privilege who are uh the right color and have privilege who are a part of the government the law have privilege people in the body of christ have privilege we are privileged and we can't look at them and be upset when we are put into a position that's above all that as well yep. so like you said pastor it has nothing to do with the society because the society is corrupt it is this world system is governed by Satan, our mortal enemy. Come on now. He has no control over us. He has no ability to do anything but try and tempt us. And within the body of Christ, these things, I mean, you, you would not be out there protesting, protesting, you know, uh, well, you might, but I don't think you would you would uh, find yourselves in a position for where you were you would be uh, uh, looting and 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 causing uh, destruction. 
destruction. Yeah. You yeah. know, because that's that's not our nature. Right. But I mean, we still our hearts still go out to these people. And so yes, we can go out and peacefully go against what's going on, this injustice toward these people, you know, um, knowing that these people, if, if they were put, if they were in God's hands, if this stuff happened, it happened for a reason. There, there's two, uh, I think there are two um, cases that have national attention right now in the United States of America. Um, well, white cop killing blacks. But in a making year, this year or last year, there were more people killed, more blacks killed at the hands of blacks than there were at the hands of the cops. Somehow we find a way to skew that, that, that uh, report to make it a white problem too. That is their fault. But what we're seeing is that black people are as dangerous to black people as white people are to black people. In other words, the answer is not well. And, and, I, and I'll show you one other thing before, before, before we finish. There were 700,000 white men that were killed during the second uh, during the Civil War. Seven hundred over 700,000 white men do it toe to toe and blew each other away. Somebody made money off of that, and it wasn't a war that black men started. It wasn't a war that they, they, they propagated. It was a war that was propagated among white men, killing and slaughtering other white men in order that somebody make a profit off of it. And that was the whole nine yards. These guys didn't have no slaves. They didn't have no property. They were out there killing each other while these other dudes were making money off of it. Yeah. Was that a black problem or a white problem? It was just the same thing before. It didn't just serve it, same thing. It was convenience it wasn't a black or white issue initially it was about money it was about money it was about money, it was about about money. yeah you listen to the rhetoric of mr uh, trump now mr trump says this is warfare and he perceives us as being warriors the citizenry being warriors to get the economy going again do you know that once we put these suits on we become cannon fodder <laughs> so if you that if you designate the the populace of the united states as warriors that means that you are willing to have some of them die off in order for you to reestablish the economy. Same uh -huh. thing. Yeah. We're looking at the very same thing. You cannot serve both God and man. Uh -huh. And if you serve God, you're going to be interested in the souls of people. If you serve a man, if you're mammon, you're going to be you're going to be looking at money. Come on, man. And this brother is putting people's lives at stake. He yeah. and he doesn't care. Only thing he's interested in is seeing that the economy works, the money is made. So that's human error that's human that's an indication that he's dead that's what it means to be dead and trespasses and sin this man has no life in him so he can't impart life but yeah, there are white men out there who do have life in them right and I think that's, yeah there are yeah. cops out there that have some life in them too there truly are some cops that really are putting their lives on the line to save us to keep us out of trouble there are good men in corrupt systems, and there are corrupt men in good systems. Exactly. But in the kingdom of God, <laughs> he has made provision for us and to cure our corruption, and that he'll make us one with himself. Amen. Let, let Chris talk. Chris has something to say. No, like you say, I'm, 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 I'm absorbing what a lot of folks say, and uh, Big Brother Big brother Johnson, he, he, he kind of, he, he talks in my ear, he calms me down a little bit. <laughs> so, but one of the I things the I want to say, <laughs> huh? I said, I come from the same place you do. <laughs> I got to get calm myself. <laughs> uh, but see, my, what I want to say with this is, you talking about the, the corruptness and I go back to looking at the church as a whole in America yeah. is now fractured, yeah. now divided. Yeah. It is corrupt. Yeah. Yeah. So when you sit there and you put with uh the TBN crew up on on TV that's been backing Trump and all of the stuff that Trump's doing, and then they go in and they get past the gray. They go in and get um your boy um TJ. All the jokers up in Atlanta. They get those guys to come on TV in 
and you sitting there, you listening to them, and you watching them, and you going, dude, people are starting to go, y'all align with the devil. Mm, right. I know. I that, that, so so yeah. now, so when when I get ready to go protest and get mad because what's going on, and then you send the preacher out there to tell me I shouldn't do nothing, but I don't watch the joker shake shake hands with all going fall well and all them idiots that's supporting Trump. They can't tell me nothing. I think that's yeah. important. That's important. The, the church cannot compromise. And that's what you end up having. The church is compromised. That's exactly. the problem. The exactly. church is compromised. When the church, when the church allows themselves to, 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 to line up with the world system, this is what you're going to get. You're not going to get people listening to you because you, you, you have endorsed bad behavior. And that's what I'm saying now. These kids ain't listening to it because, like you said, if you go on, TV, the preacher sleeping with this person. Deacon brother doing this here. Then I don't, they don't want to hear that because Deacon brother getting paid. Right. Yeah. He getting paid to feed you the bull crap, and you sitting there turning the other cheek. No, you didn't hit my other cheek too many. That I ain't got but two. I've been hit twenty. I know. Got to give. And, 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 and after, after after you done turn the cheek and they hit that one, then what? That's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but yeah, but I'm saying I agree. Matter of fact, but let's let's put this scripture that goes with it. Yeah, yeah. calm it down with the scripture if you yeah. can. Yeah, it's just showing you that, we can't, brother. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> but the main thing <laughs> we're trying to show is that it is is the answer is not going to be from the flesh. But if we sit there and continue to try to do things, try to fix things. In the flesh, it ain't gonna work either. Yeah, that's work. the only that's the only piece I get is when I go to the word. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I can't I can't, I can't I look at what's going on and not get upset. That's just that's just human nature. That's just the love for for humanity. Yeah. Um but I have to to look at it in in with the with the spiritual aspect. And through God's word, you have you know? to, you and have that's to. the only thing that gives me peace because right. I, I, got, I always got to say, well, I'm not of this word; I just live here. Exactly. Well, the point in, in the second, you got to understand the world system. Satan comes to steal, yeah. kill, and destroy. Yeah. All of this is wrapped up in his signature, yeah. and we're not. As we, long as we keep looking at each other, we're not going to get the answer. Now, yeah. so read this, brother uh, Addison. Oh, I should have Chris read. It. Where you want me to start at? I must. It's eight. Started eight. Okay, Isaiah 6, 8. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their, their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Then I said, O oh Lord, how long? How long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitants, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. Mm. And the Lord have removed men far away and there be a great forsaken in the midst of the land. But yet in it shall be a tent, and it shall return, and shall be eaten. And as, as till... Tea leaves to me, I call it well, to me. Tea. As till tree, tile tree? Yeah, tree. And as an oak, uh -huh. whose substance is in them, and they cast their, lead, their leaves, so the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. And the thing about it is that the, the ears, Chris, are fat. Their heart mm -hmm. is heavy. They hear, but they don't understand. They perceive, but they're not, they're not getting it. And as long as we keep going this way, this is what you're going to get. This is what Satan wants to do. He, he's the author of confusion. And as long as we stay uh, being confused, we're going to get to the point, Elder, what you said is, it's going to be a city that's desolate. Yeah, without inhabitants. Yeah. 
and it's already a house without man because they're all in prison. Go ahead, and my whole thing is, ain't nobody confused. We know <laughs> this is wrong. Ain't nobody confused. They know this is wrong. But I think the exactly. problem is that we won't do the thing that to get right. Right, we won't yeah. do the things that will get to do to make it right. Yeah. As long you as you try say. to, you know, like I said, the, you might have one scripture, and and, and uh, I think it's in uh, Ecclesiastics. As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest time. If yeah. we don't understand what you plant is what you're going to get, that's what's going to keep happening. We're going to keep sowing. We're going to keep planting. And we're going to keep reaping what we sow. I think it's difficult to embrace the reality that aside from Christ, we can't sow anything but hatred. That's all. There no, there's no love in us. And so the whole thing that he says, when we reconnect it, he said he came that we might have life. And that more abundantly. So Jesus came that God, the Father, might live in us. Without that connection, without that new birth, we are devoid of the love of God. And what's going to come out of us is going to be hell. And yeah. that's just the natural state yeah. of things. From the yeah. fall in the garden, it was the hell of a fall. When <laughs> we took that fall in the garden, we corrupted to the core. And everything that we produced out of that, from that point forward, was the same. Right. No government has ever come into being that was created a man that sustained itself over a long time in perfection and justice. Right. Even Paul said that. Paul was shown favor in, in Roman, and when he said, I'm a Roman citizen. You can't just beat me like that. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they could beat anybody else, but they couldn't beat a Roman. So the guy got scared, right? Because he's like, oh, oh, we're going to beat up a Roman guy. We exactly. Us, and that's the same thing that's happening in America right now. They see themselves as privileged. Right. And, you know, know, and that's where even, even the French Revolution started off with the fact is that the people got fed up, Chris. Let them eat cake. And, and, and they, they got to the point where they just, they went off. And if we don't watch out, we're going to have that. That's what you're seeing, too, that type of movement. That if you don't watch out, these people will just, it just goes out of control until yeah. the system adjusts itself. You so, Pastor, let me ask you this question. There is a, a, a movement, and it's supposed to happen in... Uh, July, June or something, that's going to really affect uh, how these people look at people of color. And the only two things that I believe that will change the way this government treats people of color is one, that we don't spend our money outside of our communities. That will give us some kind of say so on how they treat us not to say that they're gonna it's going to uh change the way things are permanently or anything like that but it, it, it'll make some changes for the good and the other thing is every person of color go and register and get a permit to carry a weapon Bingo. that will change the way Bingo. society is, is treating people of color as well so uh those two things will we'll make some changes. But outside of that, this is what it is. Yeah. And it's going to always be. Yeah. And, um, and then the only permanent change to all that is God. Is it, that's the only answer. Is accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and state, Savior instead of accepting this uh, society and our government as your Savior. There are certain, right. there's certain right. things that uh, that you bring up. He who lives by the sword should die by the sword. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. employ cardinal means to accomplish, you can't employ cardinal means to accomplish spiritual goals. Yeah. The thing that has to show up, and, and I think God showed us a preview of that. There's 100,000 people that have died in this country because of something neither not one of us can see. Right. These guys took guns to the, to, to the courthouse. Yeah. What the hell, what were they going to shoot? Right. Uh, I mean, the, the virus? Yeah. He showed us, he illustrated to us something that happened in the Old Testament, and he illustrated it now in our own sight. Thousands of men were killed by angels that went through the camp. They were the enemies of God. We kind of put them on a string and, and, and put them in a box and saying that God can only bring the people down through warfare or through, you know, physical violence. God can wipe out a whole nation of people with a virus. Yeah. A, and he can tell and make diseases like. What do we have? Sickle cell anemia. And, and he can do that. If men can tell and make diseases, God is even more so perfected at that. 
So he can pull things into place. The issue with us as a people, and I say black men, if we look at a race, we have not submitted ourselves to God. That's the hope. Yeah, you're not going to get any answer. Yes, we, have done that. we haven't gotten there. So why would he replace a corrupt people with another corrupt people? Right. If he needs an example in the in the, in the nation, he needs an example of people who have some men, and I say men, who are submitted to God. Yeah. Because because he said, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I'm saying, Brother I said the, the point is that, Elder alluded to earlier, there's, there's, a, there's more killing of black on black crime than, than, yeah. than what you see on black and blue or blue and black. Uh, yeah. But it's it's it, even though that there that is, it's all a trickle down it is. Uh, effect right. on on people of color. You know, if you if you don't have any means of getting income that can sustain you, if you don't have uh, the, the 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 jobs available, if you don't have uh, a way to to get nourishment that that you can afford because you know you have a lot of people they can't afford a place and afford food you know to pay bills without being in that street life but you know, just be real about it is it you know, you know, judgment beginning in the household of god is there not enough resources in the church itself it is it's, it's something yeah but 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 the the problem is the church there right now a big church is is the thing yeah but you it, know you 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 resource. get you get some people to minister to and that's not enough because okay now you got to make you got to get more people in not to save souls or to renew their minds or to perfect them but to get more income in now that ain't good so it, that that that's outside of that and and the whole premise of that is is outside of the way this thing is supposed to function anyway now because you, you get people in to perfect them to go out and do the work of the ministry now so you, your church should never be huge it should never be huge just there's no schools that keep people in you get educated and you go out and that's what all this is the, the 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 church is to to educate to perfect, and then these people go out and do the work of the ministry. And then in, in some of those people that go out, they establish, you know, a, a church of, of learning and, and, and perfecting. And I don't think this thing was ever meant to just hoard in a whole bunch of people, especially and not be able to provide, because the early church, everybody gave so that everybody lived equally. Hello. Hey. And that